what is up you guys welcome or welcome back to the channel as y'all can tell by the title of today's video i'm back with the sims 4 video long time no see for that for sure but i felt like since there's been a couple patches a couple updates with sims 4 i actually just got back into playing sims 4 i just redid or like tried to clean up and fix my mods and cc folder and all of that type of stuff because i haven't played in so long and because there's so many updates patches issues stuff like that going on um i felt like it would be good to do another like updated how to install mods and ccs that went viral right i feel like it's a good time for that because that tutorial came out in what 2020 maybe i did another one a year or two ago and then now here we are now is a lot different than what it was back in 2020 we had to use origin and stuff like that ea has its own app now so i wanted to show you all an updated tutorial just in case y'all are struggling still i know a lot of people still watch that video and still comment and ask me like what's going on what's wrong and it's probably because it's a whole new system now so without further ado let's get into it okay so the first thing you want to do obviously is open up your laptop <laughs> um so the, i have a macbook this is the bigger one this is the 15 inch macbook um air it's not a pro or nothing so this is like a regular macbook air still i don't have the problems that i used to have in my 2020 macbook where it's like blowing and huffing and puffing at me and all it does is get warm it, is, it doesn't really get hot or nothing it just gets warm you don't have to worry about like is my computer finna blow up so recommend this pc or it's not a pc but recommend this recommend this laptop you don't have to really worry about all the glitching and stuff that goes on with the other macbook or the older macbooks um if you do have an older macbook i recommend a hard drive i know people who do that i'm just like lazy and i don't feel like buying a higher drive and putting all the stuff on there and then plugging it in when i want to play and stuff like that i just want to play if i feel like playing so Open up your laptop, as you can see, I have two different Finder uh, windows up. So I have downloads and I have mods. Mods is how you get how you get to mods is first of all you need to download the EA app. So <clears throat> I believe you can just like Google search this, and then it shows Windows or Mac. You should have Mac because this is what I have and that's what this tutorial is for. You download this, it's gonna show up in Launchpad and then you can um, purchase Sims. I think it's like $5 too, I don't know. But you can purchase Sims from there and then you can open up Sims with, through games. It'll show up in games or it'll show up EA app. So we're just gonna open the EA app for now just so y'all can see what to expect. And then it should probably have you signed in or something. I'm already signed in, so I don't need to do that obviously um and then like i said you down you purchased sims 4 so from here get expansion packs and stuff from here they're on sale now i think until like february so if you are looking in again sim i know some mods um work better with certain expansion packs so i know the whole point of like mods and cc is to not buy expansion packs but some mods you really can't get around it so yeah if you want that you can grab that if not cool boom we're gonna play and then we're gonna go into settings because it's a couple settings that you need to do before you do anything um that i tend to forget about because i didn't have my game like this for so long and that's probably causing a lot of issues that people are like commenting about and telling me about so okay so when you do have mods this is what you'll see you probably won't see this if you're just starting out and never did this before but that's how you know that you're good um you can unclick this box but I'm, i keep it clicked so i know that my mods are on um but yeah this is what my person looks like like they have like gallery department on jordan's dress like that's what the mods and cc do it does to your game so as you can see it updates every time it updates every time they do a patch or updates it's ea sims 4 whoever it's gonna get rid of mods so you need to know how to do this anyway so you basically just go to the three um, dots at the top, game options, I think it's other, yeah. And then you want to make sure that you enable custom content and mods and script mods are allowed. And that's all you have to do. You apply changes and it should all work. So what we're going to do is exit the game. So every time you add a mod or a CC, in order for it to show up in the game, it's not going to just instantly pop up if you have the game open. It has to reload with... Um, 
that software so we're gonna download them out so i have one set up here this is um base mental if you know they do baby mental drugs that's probably what they're most known for um i've had that for a while and then the universal venue list is for their stuff so like casinos which is what we're about to get is base mental gambling so we're gonna download it and this is why I have both of these open because then I can just click and drag this into the mods folder. Um, how you get to the mods folder, you want to make sure you're in um, iCloud, you go to documents. And then it might be easier to show you like this. Documents and then EA. EA is from the app that you just downloaded, right? And then Sims 4. And then you'll automatically have a mods folder. Mods and Trey. Where is Trey? Mods and Trey are the only things that I've manipulated or added stuff to. Those are the only two folders you have to worry about. I wouldn't worry about anything else. So, yeah. When you download a mod, you put it in the mods folder. CC also goes in the mods folder. And then, like I said, I just put the basement to um, gambling right here. So, it should show up in the game. So, this mod, and I can do like a gameplay or something on it. Um, I just downloaded it yesterday and played with it a little bit. But I'll show you a little bit of how it works. Basically, the unit you get the universal um, venue list from Basement Two as well because then you can get the venue list and it'll show up as a um, casino, so you can get casinos, which I was really planning to do a walkthrough on what my worlds look like anyway, so I can shout out the creators that I get my stuff from anyway. But you can get a lot from somebody who makes it, or you can get a lot from the gallery, or you can make your own casino, or whatever, and then you can put it as a casino, and a lot as you we're about to see, and then. Basically, it just has certain requirements like everything else, like a museum needs to have art or sculptures or whatever. A restaurant needs to have the chef station and stuff like that. So it just has certain requirements. You need the craft table, the roulette, the blackjack, stuff like that. And then they actually get to, oh, I think it's a chip collector or converter or something like that. And then they actually get to gamble and I was actually gambling. So um, I'm going to show you all so we can make sure that it works. This is why you go through all of your mods. Why is everybody wearing bras? So I'm, I'm in the process of working that out. Okay, but this is what this is why you save everything. So anyway, um, where is my casino? Here it goes. Golden Sands Casino is in Oasis Springs. Don't forget next time. I should have traveled. Why did I go to Bill, bro? I should have traveled here with somebody. Hold on. Let me go get a person. He just chilling in. Okay. I thought he was smoking or something. Okay, so travel, we're gonna go just here with the start. Sarks wanna watch ice skating in real life. He lucky would actually. That's actually valid. Okay, Oasis Springs Casino. And here we are. So the way that I set it up, I had to add a couple things. Um to make it a casino, I can show you that. Hold on. Because this isn't, this, these, like, the mod came from a different person who made the thing. So, yeah, I had to, like, fix, I had to fix it to make it a casino. So, as you can see, maybe you can't see. Oh, you had to have certain requirements. So, I had to add those in. And then, I didn't do any tricks or nothing. So, basically, you come up here. And then this is um, a ATM or like a chip converter. So every casino needs a chip conversion machine to convert simoleons to chips and vice versa. So to buy 100 chips is $1,000. So we only going to do that. And then the way this is set up, I don't know what this is. If people be performing over here or what. And then I don't know what this is on the side, like whatever. But when you come upstairs, this is a casino. Like, yeah, like they really did a big one. Yeah. So, nope, you're not going to go there. But, like, these aren't functional tables. Like, you just turn them on and turn them off. These aren't functional things. These are, like, deco. So, I had to put in the actual real stuff that you can really play with and gamble with. So, it's already somebody right here at this table. So, we're going to bet with him. Oh, how did he get right there already? I didn't even see that. So, this is a blackjack table. Oh, I thought he was the dealer. He is the dealer. Okay, but whatever. So it shows you, it tells you the rules of the game in case you don't know how to play blackjack already. So basically, you're trying to get as close to 21 before the dealer. Or like, 
You trying to get as close to 21 without going over 21. Whoever does that, you or the dealer wins, basically. So, okay. They want to play with me. Because why is it not, like, where is the dealer? Okay, so now that he's there, he, I don't know what he was doing, but now you can play blackjack. So, Starks is going to come over to the table and then it's all going to be fine. And a lot of, like I said, all of this stuff is just decoration. I don't know who that lady is. But she just got to get up on my way. That's all I know. So here, here he comes, if he ever comes, you know. So I only got 100 trips, a little bit 50, I guess. Tells you how much to bet. And then pull two cards. I got a 13. So you can go another time and pull another card. Or you can be like, no. But I'm going to pull another card because that's not close to 21 at all. So you're going to just pray that it's not like no 10. And it is bet. Bet. So you just lost. But we're going to play again because I got another 50 chip. Let's do 25. <laughs> Bro, I be scared. I hate losing. Like, as soon as I lose, I be like, yeah, I'm cool. It's over. We're going to hit again because even if we got a king or something, then we'll be at 21. That's what we're supposed to be. I'm going to do it too. The thing is, though, they don't show you. Okay, we good. We're going to stop. We got 20, we good. But they don't show you what the dealer pulls. So, like, I feel like it's rigged, but. How did, like, bro, they won again. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. <laughs> we're going to do it one more time. Because usually you'll pull it and then the dealer will pull it. Then you'll pull it and then the dealer will pull it and you'll decide. Um, we're going to stop because that's 17. I feel like that's a tie. So, I wish I could have showed you me winning, but didn't win. So, yeah. Always make sure you save and exit. I also have a backup. Because um, sometimes your mods or CC can corrupt your game. Especially if you're raw dogging and you ain't playing. If you ain't playing with a hard drive, yeah, that can just crash your whole thing. Whole game. So, yep. That's how you download mods and CC on Mac. Um, with Mac operating system and with the EA app now. Um, if you guys had any other questions, just let me know. I know a lot of people was having bug issues or just little miscellaneous stuff um, going on. I get a lot of my mods from Patreon. I don't really do any suspicious looking links. Um, Sim file share is reputable. At least I haven't really had any, too many issues with these sites that creators use. So Sims file share, uh, Media Forge. Media Share, something like that. Media Fire, it's Media Fire. Curse Forge, stuff like that. Uh, I just started looking on Pinterest for mods and stuff like that. And Pinterest will have you anywhere. So on the link that's attached to the Pinterest picture, it'll have you anywhere. So I was just on something that was Chinese. So yeah, I was like, yep, let's not even do that. So if you did follow the tutorial, it should work because you worked for me. So if you guys had any other questions, just let me know. Um, as I have been doing. Um, I can do tutorials on any, anything else. But I think my next uh, video will be me showing y'all my world. And where I get my lots from. Like my lot creators and stuff like that. And build modes you see. And what my world looks like. And all my people and stuff like that. And we low key could get a series going. So y'all just let me know. So yeah. If y'all like this video give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Um, share with your friends and your family. Subscribe if you're new. Because it does. And I'm out.